Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we'll be exploring the principles of feng shui through a practical case study. We'll be analyzing a celebrity, Kendall Jenner's LA home, and assessing any potential feng shui issues present within the space. Let's go and have a look. Hey Dee, it's Kendall Jenner. Welcome to my house. Come on in. This is my, I guess, formal living room. I made sure there was no TVs in here. So we get into a lot of deep talks in here. We actually hang out in here more than I thought I would. Have you noticed any feng shui problems in her living room? Let's watch it again. This is my, I guess, formal living room. I made sure there was no TVs in here. So we get into a lot of deep talks in here. We actually hang out in here more than I thought I would. You probably have noticed there are too many arched doorways. The arch designs, doorways and windows are almost everywhere in her house, including her bedroom. An arch shape design have long been a popular design element, evoking a sense of timeless elegance and grandeur. Historically, arch designs have been a hallmark of significant structures such as palaces, churches, mosques, and temples, conveying a sense of power and authority. However, from a feng shui perspective, the use of arch doors and windows in residential settings can present some challenges. This type of designs may create a sense of unexpected pressure or suffocation for those residing in the space. In this example, there are a lot of arched doorways in the living room. This type of design attracts a lot of yin energy, potentially creating an imbalance between yin and yang energies. A space that is overly dominated by yin energy can also negatively impact the health and well-being of those who live or work in the area. The second feng shui issue is the exposed beams. From a design perspective, Exposed beams can create a sense of spaciousness and openness in a room. However, from a feng shui perspective, exposed beams can also be associated with pressure and can create an energy that presses down on people. In Kendall Jenner's home, we can see exposed beams in both her living room and her bedroom. And the beams are directly above the sitting area and the bed where the house owner spends a significant amount of time. In the long run, exposure to beams overhead can have detrimental effect on one's overall prosperity, potentially causing headaches and other health problems. The third feng shui problem is the sunken living room. As we can see in this example, the floor of the living room is lower than the adjacent flooring by a few steps. In interior design, dropping the living room a few feet below the home's other spaces meant it could be taller and more spacious without affecting the roof line. But in feng shui, sunken designs can be seen as creating an imbalance in the flow of energy, as they can generate a sense of instability or disconnection from the rest of the space. Sunken designs are sometimes used in memorials, where the internal flooring is a few steps lower. This was specifically designed to create a sense of separation between the outside world and the memorial space, creating a peaceful and contemplative environment. However, in a residential setting, this would add more yin energy into the living room, making yin and yang energy unbalanced. As a result, people's over fortune and health could be negatively impacted. Can you find more feng shui problems in her living room? So, what does a living room with good feng shui look like? The living room is considered one of the most essential spaces within a home, serving as a gathering place for family activities and interactions. As a result, it's of great importance to ensure that the feng shui of the living room is optimized in order to create a harmonious and welcoming atmosphere. Now, I will share with you top 6 feng shui tips for your living room. Number 1. Direction The direction of the living room is crucial. And the best direction from a feng shui perspective is northwest. Placing the living room in the northwest sector is considered favorable, as this direction is associated with the patriarch of the household. The northwest sector is believed to bring stability, strength, and success to the male head of the household. This placement can help to promote harmonious energy flow and support the well being of the family members who gather in the space. Number two, layout. The design and arrangement of the living room play an important role in maintaining the harmonious balance of the space. A well-organized layout helps to promote a sense of calm and comfort, making it an inviting and relaxing area for family and guests. 
By avoiding clutter and ensuring a neat appearance, the living room can help attracting positive energy into your home. Number three, color. The color scheme in the living room plays a significant role in setting the mood and atmosphere of the space. It's recommended to choose warm and soft hues that create a welcoming and comfortable environment, instead of bold and bright colors that may be overwhelming and disrupt the balance of energy. Number four, airflow. The airflow in the living room should be well regulated to promote a comfortable living environment. Adequate ventilation helps to keep the air fresh and reduce the risk of any health-related issues. Good airflow allows for the free movement of positive energy, which is crucial in feng shui. Number five, lighting. Adequate lighting in the living room is crucial for creating a warm and inviting atmosphere. It would be best to use natural light sources such as windows and skylights. Adequate lighting not only enhances the aesthetic appeal of the living room, but also promotes a positive energy flow around your home. Number six, furniture. The living room furniture should be clean and well organized in order to attract wealth energy. It's advisable to refrain from incorporating overly decorative or extravagant pieces that may disrupt the positive energy flow around your house. In conclusion, the feng shui of the living room plays a vital role in shaping the overall ambience and energy of a home. By ensuring that the living room is properly orientated, neatly organized, warm and soft in color, well ventilated, well lit, and furnished with appropriate furniture, it can serve as a hub for family gathering and promoting a welcoming and harmonious home environment. Thank you, everyone. I hope you find my video useful. If you like my video, please like, comment, and share. See you next time.